Good evening. Uh, last month or two, I've been thinking about putting together something like loosely based on a traditional Sami kit. You know, like the people from Lapland. Uh, <clears throat> Denmark, Norway, Sweden, some Sami people in like Russia, Ukraine. But like a tra just a, a traditional sort of kit. Uh, it's coming together. A few bits to do yet. <clears throat> yeah, I just thought I'd give you a look. So I'll just adjust the camera and go through a few bits of bobs. Right, so this is what I've come up with so far. Chris from Wyndham Woodcraft kindly sent me a cookser. So that is going to be ideal. I have got a, a lump of burr elm in the shed. I'm planning to make a cookster with, but I just haven't got around to it yet. Tell it's mine. But that's a lovely cookster. Now, I've been wondering if instead of boiling water in that, yeah, it's wood, can't put it on the fire, don't be daft. So, I was just wondering if something a pebble that size would heat that water enough for a a brew. I will try it sometime, you know, stick that in a campfire and just see if it would heat one cup of water for a cuppa. So you don't have to carry something to boil water in. Just hot rock, cup of water, do do. Done. Made. <clears throat> this is a sewing kit hollowed out a piece of antler put this toggle on the end so it traps everything inside this ring just a hole through it I took three bits of wax cotton and found out that I could plait so I plaited three bits together antler toggle so that just goes under the belt sits under the belt and dangles down your side a few bits that I want to put in there there is some thread a needle uh, there's a little antler needle that I made that I've just dropped on the floor uh, there's a long needle and some thread in there I'll put a couple of safety pins in there and a smaller needle so that's a that is based on pictures that I've seen of a couple of them, so sort of my interpretation, not as good as theirs because their chip carving is superb. <coughs> and then <coughs> this pouch that Helen from Beaver Bushcraft made for me, they had one on their web page that was a little bit smaller, so I asked her to make one sort of touch bigger for me. Uh, I've put a big antler toggle on again so once it's wrapped round tucked under again that can go under a belt hang down the side. I've just put me <coughs> little CRKT Ritter on the side of it just so there's a little small blade to hand if I'm out then I will have a Laplander saw with me and my bushcraft knife which has a ferro rod on as well. So there is a lot packed into this. So, the thing I like about this pouch is there's a partition down the middle. So it's a two section pouch, absolutely brilliant, love it, thank you very much Helen. 
so I say there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, so let's go with fire at the start. That is a bag. Yeah, a Ziploc bag isn't traditional, but keeps it fresh. That is a fat wood shavings and a couple of extra bits. That's actually what I shaved that bag off with the CRT Ritter using the blade. So very nice fine dust which catches from a ferro rod. Piece of Amadou. That is a small tin of char cloth, also from Beaver Bushcraft. It's all rolled up nice and tight. I'll put a link to their channel down below. I made a <coughs> furrow rod. That is deer antler, turned and polished up. And the toggle again that can go hang from a belt underneath, sort of looped through. Nice piece of antler. This wrapped up in a piece of leather, so little bits of leather thonging, little bits of cordage. Wrapped up in there, three pieces of flint, piece of leather, <coughs> another small piece of fat wood, and I made a couple of little. Small little pouches with little antler toggles on. This one here is packed with jute twine that's been fluffed up. Plenty of that in there. And this one. Striker. Okay, it's a shark designs, beaver bushcraft, dual striker. This side for a thorough rod and the back for flint. That's why I've got the flint in. Another piece of flint in there. Small plip, small piece. And that is full of Amadou. It's all fluffed up Amadou little pieces. So, of course, they're for fire, flint and steel, and ferro rod. And also, <coughs> actually made this, made this today. Little birch bark container that contains a couple of dozen of these like yacht matches. And there's also the two of the strikers in there as well, but they're they're kept in plastic bags. So there's about 24-25 matches in there so I've got three ways to make fire matches flint and steel and ferro rod there is a big chunk of uh what's that called chaga forgot then which can be used as tinder or 
the hot rock and water work, then dropped in, steeped for a tea. Healthy drink. <coughs> there is three chunks of pine resin. Nice big chunks, look. <coughs> Which can be melted down on hot flat, flat rock with uh, charcoal to make a resin, pine resin glue or again used in fire, make a candle, whatever <coughs> also sinew, that is artificial sinew so there's cordage can be used to split down and used with sewing needles to sew up but there's cotton in there uh, there's 30 feet on there <coughs> there is a bag of hide glue so again for fixing stuff you just soak that in warm water, drain it off, mix it up, and then that turns into a glue. Fixing stuff, <coughs> and it wouldn't be me if I didn't make a small burr elm hobo reel for hunting. Plenty of tackle in there, little fake baits. Plenty of hooks, spinners, floats, ledger weights and all sorts. Plenty of six power line on there again, little bits of cordage if needed, but if you're near water, catch food. And that's it. <coughs> that's all that's in there at the moment, but for a little pouch, I think that's quite a bit of gear. Just thought I'd show you. I'll put, out, I'll put a link to Beaver Bushcraft down in the description box. Uh, I've got a little spoon that I want to make. I've started <coughs> just to put in. It's only going to be a small spalted beach. Only a teaspoon size, but it's still big enough to eat with, stir with. So I've got that to finish yet. That that's going to slot in somewhere once that's finished. And that is it. I think it's quite a look, nice little kit. Got cutting tools, got cordage, got plenty for fire things to fix, you know, sewing kit, glues, fishing, hunting, you know, <coughs> you can make small snares out of the fishing line, cutting tool with a CRK ritter, fresh flints, always sharp, so I'll have a bushcraft knife with me as well, a drinking vessel, hopefully a hot rock will work I will give it a go sometime so that's it just thought I'd give you a, a little look I'll take some photographs and put them at the end <coughs> so that's it <coughs> that's my little sort of sammy kit you know like I said don't shout at me because it's not a perfect sammy kit <coughs> it's my interpretation it's my kit so but trying to keep things as natural as possible <coughs> apart from ziplock bags which are very handy and a small tin which has got char cloth in it and artificial sinew because i ain't got the time or the inclination to buy 
sinew and pound it out to create a thing. I can make cordage, nettle cordage is not a problem. So yeah, that's it. Just thought I'd show you that. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got any ideas. What wants to go in there? What wants to come out of there? Uh, hit the like button if you like it. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. I'm not really bothered because I don't look, so <coughs> I don't put the likes and dislikes up on screen so you can't see who dislikes it. And I never look anyway, so I'm not bothered. Dislike it if you want. And that's it. Nice little kit, I think. Tell me what you think, and I'll catch us all later. Bye-bye. Stay safe.